Hello viewers, this is Emil Lord, B. Honors, MA in English and ELT, first class first, Russia University, Professor of English and ELT. Welcome to British Language Club, IDB IELTS and Byte International Bangladesh, Kazla Muthiar, Russia Center. As a part of our English Language Diploma Certificate, ELDC and ELGC course, in this video, I am going to speak about introduction to romantic period of English Literature Part B. 10 Major Characteristic Features of Romantic Period of English Literature Part 1. Let's begin. 10 Major Characteristic Features of Romantic Period are Number 1. Glorification of Nature Number 2. Awareness and Acceptance of Emotion Number 3. Celebrations of Artistic Creativity and Imagination Number 4. Emphasis on Aesthetic Beauty Number 5. Themes of Solitude Number six, focus on exoticism, novelty, and history. Number seven, spiritual and supernatural elements. Number eight, vivid sensory descriptions. Number nine, use of personification. And number ten, focus on the self and autobiography. Now, I am going to discuss about each of them in short. Number one, glorification of nature. Nature in all its unbound glory plays a huge role in romantic literature. Nature sometimes seen as the opposite of the rational is a powerful symbol in work from this era. Romantic poets and writers give personal deep descriptions of nature and its wild and powerful qualities as is found in Kids Ode to Autumn, Wordsworth's Tintin Abbey and Immortality Odes. Number two, awareness and acceptance of emotion. A focus on emotion is a key characteristic of nearly all writing from the Romantic period. When you read work of this period, you will see feelings described in all forms, including romantic and final love fear. Feeling love fear, sorrow, loneliness, and more. This focus on emotion offered a counterpoint to the rational and it also made romantic poetry and prose extremely readable and relatable. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein offers a perfect example of this characteristics of romanticism. Here, Frankenstein's monster shows great self-awareness of these feelings and offers a vivid emotional description full of anger and sadness. Number three, celebration of artistic creativity and imagination. In contrast to the previous generation, focus on reason, writers of the romantic movement explored the importance of imagination and the creative impulses. Romantic poets and prose writers celebrated the power of imagination and the creative process as well as the artistic viewpoint. They believed that artists and writers looked at the world differently and they celebrated that vision in their work. You can see this in William Wordsworth's poem, The Prelude. Imagination here the power, so-called, through set in competence of human space. Number four, emphasis on aesthetic beauty. Romantic literature also explores the theme of aesthetic beauty, not just of nature, but of people as well. This was especially true with descriptions of female beauty. Writers praised women of the Romantic era for their natural loveliness rather than anything artificial or constrained. For example, George Gordon or Lord Byron's poem, I quote, She walks in beauty, she walks in beauty like the night, uncut. Number five, themes of solitude. Writers of the Romantic era believed that creative inspiration come from solitary exploration. 
they celebrated the feeling of being alone further that meant loneliness or a much needed quiet space to think and create you will see solitary themes in many literary works from this period including in the excerpt from Samuel Taylor Coleridge's poem Frost at Midnight the frost performs its secret ministry unhelped by any wind number 6 focus on exoticism and history romantic era literature often has a distinct focus on exotic locations and events or items from history poems and prose touch on antiques and the gifts of ancient cultures around the world and far away locations provide the setting for some literary works of this era One great example is Percy Bysshe Shelley's poem Ozymandias. I could I met a traveler from an antique land who said to bust and trunkless legs of the stone and cut. Guys, in my next video on British literary period, I will speak about characteristic features of romantic period part 2. together with key elements and poetic forms of romanticism be a glorious member of british language club idp ielts and bite international bangladesh kazla muthiar bashi center and speak english fluently like a native with international standard register for ielts here and enjoy free mock test thank you